the most popular dating site of this month for singles and personals. Check out the link in description box below. J.J. Abrams shows his support for Ian Johnson's The Last GD and found his choice is fun. J.J. Abrams showed his support for Ian Johnson's The Last GD, admitting that he enjoyed the different choices the Knives Out filmmaker made. The director, 53, made the admission while speaking to Rolling Stone magazine on Thursday about the hotly anticipated Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker. Of his second film, he explained. I appreciated the choices he made as a filmmaker that would probably be very different from the choices that I would have made. Just as he would have made different choices if he had made episode 7. The last GD has caused some division amongst fans, but JJ admits what while he was surprised by how dark Luke was, he felt the film's unexpected twists and subversion of expectations was also what it undeniably succeeds at. The number of things that happened in that movie that aren't the thing you think is going to happen is pretty fun he said in support of Rian's film. JJ also claimed that he didn't think the changes the Brick director made to the story had prevented him from doing what he wanted with the story in the final film of the Skywalker saga. JJ went on to reveal that George Lucas was involved in the filming process for The Rise of Skywalker, while he addressed Bob Eager's claim that the Star Wars creator felt betrayed by Disney when they didn't use his ideas for The Force Awakens. The director, who also made the seventh film in the franchise, acknowledged that it must have been complicated for George to sell of his creation, but said he has been incredibly gracious as with him. He came over, we had a meeting when we first started working on this new movie, talked through a ton of different ideas and stories, and heard from him what was important the director admitted. Earlier this week, Daisy Ridley revealed Ray's journey in The Rise of Skywalker is so heavy there were moments she struggled to deal with the emotional toll. The actress, 27, discussed the film with Entertainment Weekly and said. It's a heavy story for Ray. There were days where I was literally like, I can't do this, I'm so tired, I don't know if I can like reach that emotion again. Her character is driving her own thing according to Daisy and is keen not to do what other people are telling her to do. Star Wars. The Rise of Skywalker is set to be released on December 19th in the UK and on December 20th in the US. The most popular dating site of this month for singles and personals. Check out the link in description box below.